Hello and in this video we are going to learn how to use the date function in Excel. So you can see here that I have a list of three data columns that I want to convert into one single date column. So I have a column that is day, I have another column for month and I have another column for year and I want to combine all this day, month, year into uh, the usual date format. Okay, so let's learn how to do this. Now, there's one very handy function in Excel, which is a date formula. And basically, Excel date, date function, it takes three separate values and combines them to form a date. Alright, so let's learn how to use it. Okay, so first let's press the equal sign and the equal sign will tell Excel that we are going to enter a formula or a function. Okay, so our formula is date. So type that and then press tab. All right, so open bracket. Now, we want the date to be consist of the year. The year is 2004, so that is C2, okay, now comma. Now the month is B2, all right, so comma. And then the day is A2, all right, that is done. So now all we need to do is to close bracket and then hit enter, all right, now double click to autofill the formula down the subsequent rows. Okay, and that is done. So now, some of you might be wondering, is it possible to change the formatting of the date? Well, the answer is yes, and it's quite easy actually. All you need to do is to select the entire range of date that you want to format. Go to number format. Now you can do many, many things with this as well. For example, my favorite is this March 14, 2012 because I want it to be more readable. All right, so click OK. Now, don't worry. This uh, hashtag, hashtag, hashtag is, happens when there isn't enough space to display the correct date in that particular format. So all you need to do is to expand the column a little bit. And it's done. So I hope you found this video useful. It looks like it's raining outside. Um, so happy learning and see you in the next video.